So I did an audio video where I basically talked about and even put in the description something that ChatGPT uh, gave me. Now, the one thing about these AI systems, you know, the chat GPTs, the Microsoft Bings, and the Bards from Google and such, is the fact that, you know, they are there to kind of answer some questions or give you some information or even basically have some fun, you know, that you, you know, kind of program into it. Like, you ask it to draw something a certain way, it'll draw something a certain way for you. Now, with that said, though, with that said, one of the things I asked ChatGPT in the ori originally, and I posted, like I say, here, here on YouTube in an audio video, I asked it to kind of give me a different scenario for Archie Sonic 134. Now, in case you don't know, 134 contains the infamous slap, you know, in that issue that basically ended Sonic and Sally's relationship at that time. However, you know, myself and I'm sure others were wondering what would be a more alternative direction to go in, one that avoids the slap and keeps these two together. Well, I asked ChatGPT uh, Chat that, and it gave me a decent answer to where basically they had an understanding of where the other was coming from. Uh, and I'll link that video at the end here so you guys can check that out, hopefully. Um, so what I did uh, the other day is I asked Bing, Microsoft's Bing, the same kind of question. I asked them, hey, what would be an alternative? Like, how would you rewrite 134 to avoid the controversial slap? And this is what they said, and I quote, this is from Microsoft's Bing AI. This is what they said. This is from Microsoft's Bing chat AI. Check this out. They say, and I quote, sure. I can suggest a rewrite for Archie Sonic issue 134 that maintains the emotional intensity of the original but avoids the controversial slap scene and keeps Sonic and Sally together. Here's a possible alternative. And this is what they suggest, and I quote, After the climatic finale of the previous issue, Sonic finally has a chance to catch up with those near and dear to him, especially Princess Sally Acorn. Sonic, overwhelmed by all the changes, receives a checkup from Dr. Quack at Castle Acorn's Royal Infirmary. As Sonic exits the infirmary, he is warmly greeted by Sally and his family. Sonic and Sally share a moment, the bond evident. Instead of the argument that originally took place, let's have them engage in a heartfelt conversation. Sonic expresses his desire to continue adventuring, feeling restless after his recent experiences. Sally, understanding his need for freedom, expresses her worry for his safety but supports his decision. She suggests they can still be together even if they are not physically in the same place all the time. They agree to communicate regularly and support each other from afar, strengthening their relationship rather than straining it. This way, the emotional intensity of the original scene is maintained, but the conflict is resolved in a more understanding and supportive manner, keeping Sonic and Sally together. The story continues to explore the relationship dynamics and future issues, adding depth to their characters. Now, they do note at the end that this is just a suggestion, and the actual comic may differ. The original comic was written by Carl Bowlers and published by Archie Comics. Now, I'm going to put this in the description so you guys can read it yourself. I'll put it in the description so you guys can read it yourself. Uh, but, yeah, basically, you know, even Microsoft Bing's, you know, Microsoft Bing's chat AI, you know, Microsoft Bing's, you know, chat AI, even says basically the same thing that ChatGPT did. That basically they could have had, it could have been written, you know, as a way for Sonic and Sally just to have a very understanding conversation to where he basically says, look, I get where you're coming from. I know you want me to be safe. I know you want me to stay here till I'm... You know, fully healed, but I can't do that as long as Eggman's out there. And instead of, you know, reacting the way she did, they could have her basically be very understanding. Basically be the Sally that even though she has some PTSD, you know, could, you know, accept the fact that, okay, you know, if, you know, this is Sonic, I can't hold him back, I have to let him do his thing because he does have a point. You know, basically have a, you know, as I put it, a very understanding you know, a conversation from, you know, from both ends of the spectrum, basically understanding where both are coming from. So, you know, if, so I, when I look at that, you know, when I look at that, I'm like, well, if these AI systems can rewrite this, 
you know, and say this is how it could have gone in, in a more alternative way, which when you read a description like this, you're like, yeah, that makes more sense than what we got. You wonder to yourself once again, and I asked this, I think, in the original, why didn't Carl think of that? Why didn't Carl just say, look, I'm going to... I'm going to basically have them talk things out and, you know, maybe just, you know, end the relationship peacefully and just be friends and till the war's over and then they can get together or, hey, I'm going to. Sorry about that. That's the garbage coming right now. Uh, but basically, you wonder why he couldn't do that. Like, you know, have them have that understanding to where maybe, you know, they end the relationship peacefully, you know, put it on hold, remain friends and go from there. Or have it, as you know, Microsoft Bing put it, have them understand each other, agree to communicate, and you know, even when they're not physically together all the time, and also be supportive of each other's decisions. You know, knowing what has to be done. Again, I look at this, and if an AI, if an AI can come up with a better alternative idea, a better direction, you wonder to yourself, why couldn't Carl? You know, why couldn't Carl, if you will, because. To me, it's like, you know, it, to me, when I, when I read these alternatives from ChatGPT, when I read these alternatives by Microsoft being AI, I'm like, if the, I'm like, you know, damn, if they could do a better job, you know, why can't somebody that was originally writing it? You know, what they put there makes more sense. It makes more sense. I mean, when you guys look at it in the description, you agree. Yeah, it makes more sense. You know, because I look at this and I'm like, that, that's an easy thing to do. That's an easy thing to do. You know, that's an easy direction they could have taken. But they didn't. You know, they didn't. And, you know, and what's crazy is when people ask, you know, when people ask AI systems to do these kind of things, like, hey, give us a different scenario here and there, and then they see that that different scenario the AI system gives them is better than what they got, they're like, they look at that and they're like, damn, if these people can, if these, you know, systems can come up with better ideas, then why couldn't, you know, the person that was writing it? You know, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like really blows people's minds. Like, you know, if these AI systems can do it better and just giving you a short, a short idea of, hey, this is how it could have been done, avoiding such and such situation. It's like, really? It's like, I, 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 I don't, I, 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 I could, I could never, you know, I could never truly, you know, understand that. I could never truly understand that, if you know what I mean. I can never truly understand that. It's like, it's like if, if, if it's like if these artificial intelligent, you know, chatbots can do this better than than us as flesh and blood. It's like you have to be kidding me. It's like I I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But anyway, anyway, once again, you know, once again, it shows. That there was, that could have, even through AI, it shows it could have been a different, a different direction that it could have gone. And even if the AI is like, yeah, we could have done it this way, you know, we could have done it this way and everything, you know, if, if they're showing it could have been done differently, then why couldn't the people writing it, why couldn't the person writing it do it? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, though, guys, I know it sounded like a ramble a little bit there towards the end. I do apologize. But still, it just, it just surprises me when, when, I, when I see AI themselves come out and say, hey, this is how it could have been done and still kept the integrity and intensity of the original. It's, it just blows my mind. It just really does. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Again, I'll put it in the description, uh, what the AI had to say. But let me know what your thoughts are. Love to hear from each and every one of you. And until next time, I am out.